welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. Hi, in this quick tip, we're looking at modeling this ceiling. I call it the zigzag ceiling. I start with this office, have a look at 3D. I just did a simple one. There we go. And now we will add the ceiling here. Let's go back to our 2D. And what I want to do is go and add the ceiling halfway and then again the other halfway. Okay, let me dimension quickly. I've got in between here 12 meters. So that's a round number for my tutorial. Well, 1201, there you go. Let's fix that quickly. Make sure we got this and we move this by y1 minus. Okay, now we got 12 meters. And I wanna do six and six. For this exercise, it is quite nice using the profiler and I will use the beam for this. So let's open the profiler and do a new custom profile. I call this, let's call this A, I always put an A in front because it's a tutorial, so it's at the top of the list, A ceiling part one. The first thing I draw is the wooden slats. For this, obviously I use a fill, and let's do this. We go here and I like to draw X20 and Y30. All right, a bit small, there we go. That's better. The fill, again for this one, it doesn't really matter for my modeling, but let's just change it to this color. And now we wanna add um, 14 of them. So I do 15 on one side and 15 on the other side, you will see in a moment. So take this and we just copy this now. And I like to increment and spread, that's fine. So I take this here, go there, but no click yet because I want in between 16. So the distance, I make it 36, enter. And now you can just go. So I get 36 um, distance in between. I want 15, let's count. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go, great. Next is, because this goes on an angle up and on this angle up, and I like in between the same distance. So you take this now and we drag this by eight, because in a moment I will mirror this over. Get an angle in it, we will have, have a look, I'll just, Start up with, let's have a look. We angle this, you know, rotate. Um, yeah, let's make it five for now. And we'll see in a moment how that looks. So I got this and we, let's go here and mirror a copy. There we go. Okay, so now you have in between here, you got also 16 like all the others. Great, and we add on top with another fill we add um, a nice, like a ceiling to close it off. So I'm going here, there we go, there. And we take this, yeah, and we just drag this up. There we go, see this exactly here. This one here, make sure you move straight. It's a bit fiddly. Let so let's just zoom in a bit, that should help. And over here, over here, over here, in a moment, in a moment, because I want to make sure I've got 16 here to, no, eight, because this will be the next one. So we have to go eight. So for this one, I will take a line, there we go. And we take this line and we drag this line by X plus. There we go, because that's what I wanted to do, make sure that this closes off correctly. Now you can stretch this, the line's going. Yeah, see, this is better now. So if you copy now and mirror over, this will fit exactly right. So let's go here. Okay, don't forget, we have to add down here the surface. For this, we just do a very simple one use this one and for the others let's just select all of them and deselect 
those two and we add well it has this line selected that's why I was this grayed out and we do let's do this one a bit greenish why not for now okay so I save this now make sure you save this as a beam because the beam, because the beam we can angle in a moment um, on our ceiling so save this great go back and we draw our first beam here let's open the beam tool and we will go to segments and I'm choosing this ceiling part you see at the moment see furniture green this is on the side here so for that one I choose oh I didn't really watch what I chose see that can happen easy you know what it's just hit okay and I have to have a look I got so many of those I want this color okay so this color is 7004 let's go back and we open that beam tool again go there and we have here whoops I was correct 7004 there we go perfect put it on beams and steel that's fine at the moment this is a flat beam it's going straight so just draw one from here this way and we draw this six meters okay now I take my marquee tool because I just want to have a look what we got for now okay so zooming in and as you can see this is what we have for now let's move this up into place what happens now is before I copy them around and I need to mirror them let's add um, an angle so let's go over here and that is a bit steep so let's put in five and see what happens see even five is actually quite steep let's make this 2.5 let's see how that looks so I go back to my 2d drawing I can now move this as the starting point in there and then I like to copy them. Now if you have a key now you notice this selection origin dot here is not in the middle and I think that's an offset I have to correct that first which we have yet yeah, down here it has to be on zero yeah that's better now it's in the middle so I can drag this one to the corner great so let me now copy drag a copy and we copy this from here to there and let's see how that looks all right let's go down here so if I zoom in here you can see obviously this fits perfectly remember we have 16 in between so that is nice okay let's take those two now and for this purpose to make it a bit easier to understand I just drag them over here and let's rotate them around go in the middle here this way and we rotate them around that way okay so let me just have a quick look so I've got this ready now so they're going opposite direction okay so what we do is now we take those two and let's move them in the middle of that so let's see what happens here so I drag with this drag that one Instead of there, going to the middle. Okay, let's have a look what we got. Well, you can see, you can see already the effect coming up here. Nice. What is important now? They are on the same height there and there. Let's let's draw a quick section to see what's going on because it's quite important. So we'll take a section and let's just draw a very simple section here. And we open this section. All right. So what I like to uh, you to know is that see this is the same height as this because obviously we only rotated it and mirrored it over. So that's quite important. So what you need to do is now we have to make sure we adjust the angle of this um, ceiling to match down here. So I do this in 3D. So let's go back to our 3D. What we do is 
we actually select them. Oops, go over here. So I select the beams. The one we only got four, so I could go here, beams, and select all beams. And I adjust them in here, but to be more perfect, I'm going here and move in. So let's see what happens in a moment. So I go and do it only 1.2. Okay, so they come down, obviously. Can you see? Bit hard to see, I know. Go over here, let's do this again. Maybe better this way. Okay, let's do this again. So it's, um, have, the, have them on zero as example. See, that's what's happening at the moment. But that doesn't look very good, so we don't want them on zero. So let's go back on to 1.5. There we go. So let's zoom back in here and we keep going. You'll see in a moment the angle of the ceiling. It is a bit little, so we have to increase it at the moment, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So let's go down to 0.5. Okay, it's starting to come here. I know it's a bit hard to see, but you will see in a moment. Let's make 0.2. There we go. So it's coming here. Okay, so they're very small at the moment. Let's make a 0.3. See, it's starting to quite nicely come here. There, you see the double one? So 0.5. And we have a 0.25. Now, because the ceiling is so little in... Um, Oh, that's a bit watch. Let's undo this. There we go. Now, because the angle in the profile is very small, it's very hard to do. So what we do is now next, let's go to the, back to the profile. Okay. Increase the angle in the profile. There we go. We edit this. You just obviously delete this because we don't need this. We can mirror this. So what I do is next is we rotate again. Let's go from here. And remember we had five. Go back here. Actually, let's do this again. Go here and we rotate. That was my mistake, see? There we go. I have to click first. Click. Now I see the angle. So obviously we had five, minus five. Let's increase another five. So I go up and do another five. Okay, so what I do is that before I clean this up and this up, I want to see how it looks. So for now, I, I mirror a copy. That's the way that's the way you design. So I mirror a copy. And this is not cleaned up, but for now, just, just leave it, just save, and we go back into our 3D. Okay, so obviously this adjusted, see, this is now off again because it increased the angle. So you would have to go back here now again and adjust them. To do this, again, we do beam, oh, they're still selected, that's nice. And we put in, let's make a 0.5. Yeah, see, they're going up now. You can see it a lot better. I, I just want to make sure that you understand at any time you can adjust this and keep designing. So if I move in a little bit further, make it five. Yeah, that's not bad. Make it nine for now. A little bit too much, see, tiny bit. Okay, so that's not bad, I'm happy with that. Now you get, see this is, at this, this is where they intersect now, nicely here. There you go. It's a bit dark. I probably chose the wrong color. Let me choose a lighter color again. I can just adjust this here. So we go to edit and we take those ones here. Deselect. If this is grayed out, remember we have to deselect any lines. So we have another line. Yes, over here. There we go. And let me take just a really white one. Do I have a white one anyway here? 1910. Okay, let's try that one. And we get out of here. Yeah, that's much better. So you can clearly see where they intersect now. Now this is up to you if you want to keep going and make them even more steep. 
okay but that's very simply don't you just adjust the um, you just adjust the profile you can actually just copy one this is good let's do this quickly what i do is let's go here and we duplicate one and let's make this that's fine that name is great and we edit this one and let's just save so you got this second option now what you do is you can very simply use this and change them at any time the only thing you would have to do is if i change this now to this one with even more of an angle which is here and instead of one i just you see you can see it very clearly there hey it's like a bird <laughs> sorry about that and we go here there you go so then obviously you have to adjust again let's go in here the angle of it okay and you can see because i've had them both select both selected they fit on this side here okay but they also fit on the other side right here okay they all fit not a problem at all so let's just copy them now great now you see i increased the angle here so i'm a little bit further from the wall so let's drag this to the wall there we go and that didn't really work did it i was too mean with that there we go okay and now you can obviously just copy them along but before we do is let's mirror again a copy because i want to fill this up so we mirror another copy and we just go from here to here let me have a quick look before we go and mirror this yeah because you can see i need to lower them see that's that's just i, I like designing in 3d you can just see also any error any mistake you make you can see it straight away all right let's move back in here it's still a bit dark yeah but it's looking good this will look great if you render this out this will look awesome now let's copy them along so we select all the beams what well, you have to be careful now when you actually maybe i'm not selling all the beams because it's easier to calculate the copy you only need two of them all right two of each let's go over here and we take this one and this one where is it this one and this one because I want to copy them along the how gotta be careful that I do this correctly now you got this here the best way is you take it pretty much from the middle there right you copy as you can see don't go there you go to the next one so what we do is we increment and spread so we go from here not to this one we go to the next one click and now we should be able to just drag them all the way now they won't maybe fit exactly here again it's a tutorial look there yeah see it's not perfect it's close very close all right let's get rid of the marquee tool and we choose my camera view let's have a look even so i have quite a white material on the ceiling it doesn't really show it in architect let me cut this off quickly and lower the sun to show it a little bit better yes that's better now you can really see it okay i hope you enjoyed this little quick tip tutorial and i see you back next time bye for now